Well, hello guys, welcome to episode 17, I think, of our time with Urubru in this journeyman save. I'm the Custard Prophet. So this is the second club we have been at and we've made significant progress uh, over the, the season. Probably, are we? We've done one full season, a part season, uh, and we're just starting, I guess, uh, yeah, our second full season at the club. So... Uh, for those who haven't been watching up to now or, or missed a couple of episodes, we have played in the Swedish Cup, which bizarrely happens before the season actually starts. We've done very, very well, got through to the final, and the final is not going to be until about halfway through the season anyway, so we have to wait for that. Uh, but today we are coming back for the first game of the season, and that is against Helsingsborg. As you can see, I have already brought us here nicely to the transfer window no, this isn't this is the window with transfers on it it's not actually the transfer window that's well it is weird anyway you can see here that we have shipped out a couple more people if you remember andreas ring who was a player with some potential um but never quite made it He's, our scouts don't really rate him particularly highly uh sort of eighth best striker in the in the uh, in the team I didn't actually know you could do that which is interesting and uh, Matthias Anderson who just doesn't look particularly great I mean he's got some okay physicals but that's that's all she wrote uh, in though has come in some players that I am quite bloody excited about my friends so we have bought it well actually no they, they're okay there's some interesting signings so we were speaking about maybe getting in and back up goalkeeper, maybe a left back, right back. That's kind of where we were looking. Not oh, and, and also a left midfielder. We've managed to bring in one of those positions and probably someone who's not very good. This is the guy we brought in, probably the worst of all the players we brought in, to a loan signing um, who will, who can play on that left side quite effectively. Fans aren't particularly happy with it. He's okay, isn't he? He's okay. He can cross the ball. Which is which is obviously quite an important thing, uh, and he can pass. You know, he's he's got most of the the right attributes, or reasonably good enough at most of the attributes to to be a decent backup. His composure is the sort of big worry, I guess, in all of that. The other two signs are quite interesting, and they're not in places we actually need anyone. But you know, I couldn't help myself. So, Ulf Fischer has come in from Mitterland in Denmark, and he is a really curious player. So curious indeed uh, that I thought I really wanted to just have a look to see how what we could do with him. And he's got great potential. So he's a two and a half star player at the minute. He's going to be uh, a backup of something. I'm not entirely sure what yet. What's what's really interesting about him is he's really quite tiny. Uh, his heading ability is four. His jumping reach is six for a centre back. But look at the rest of him. Mean, he's Tackling, very good. His marking's okay. That could be improved. Concentration could be improved. But some of the other stats are quite outstanding. The vision uh, uh, and, and, I mean, look at this. Aggression, bravery, determination. I mean, he is a he is a tiger in the centre of the midfield. I don't think you could play him at the back because he's just a little bit too short for that. But he's really fast as well. A really fast player, capable of tackling. What's not to love? I'd be intrigued to see how he does. Uh, he's not had a game yet. And finally, we bought in another central midfielder from Africa, from Dakar. Uh, Bakari Sum Sumere, who looks fantastic. Three and a half star player. He's fast. You know I like a fast player, but he's a really good passer of the ball, which... Is, is going to be helpful. I mean, we know how good Hadou is in there at passing the ball. I think he might even be better than Hadou at that. So he's a, he's a Mazala and he's going to provide uh, another option in the centre of the park if we so need it. So, uh, yeah, some good signings in there, not necessarily in the places that we needed to make those signings. We did need to bring somebody in because we got rid of Olsen, we got rid of a couple of others, but probably two players is a bit too much. But, you know, Gives us some options, I think. So, uh, yeah, quite quite excited about that. So, yeah, today, I think I've already said, we're going to be playing uh, Helsingsburg. We've had a few friendlies since the Swedish Cup uh, semi-final. Uh, we played beat BK forward 7-0 and Deja 4-3-1, uh, uh, you see there. Uh, tactics, 
I haven't. I need to pick the team. Right. Well, I'll pick the team, and then we'll come back uh, for the um, the Helsingborg game. Right. And so this is the team we're going with. We've got Bamba up top. Um, Book on uh, in that attacking midfielder role. McNamee's back into the side. He's back fit again. Um, we are going to try Hadou and uh, Sumare in the centre of midfield. See how that works. And Garson is playing on the left. Uh, right. I mean, we could actually do that. Yeah, better, better idea? Possibly a better idea. Yeah, so we'll put Al Strand on the left. He doesn't want to play there, but you know, screw that. Right is still on the left side of the uh, defence because Binaki is still injured. Anderson and Brawson have been playing well uh, in central mid central defence, so we'll continue with that. And Ali has been sort of uh, rotating with trash, so that's, that's good as well. So all in all, pretty happy with that. Defensively, I think we could do better, but going forward, we look absolutely outstanding. So... Really, really excited with this. Let's see what we can do against Helsingsburg, who, of course, are the uh, one of the, the top, top teams in this league. Right then, I haven't quite got to the game day yet, so we'll um, we'll come back when Helsingsburg are ready to play us. So we're almost ready to go. Yeah, Helsingsburg are... Oh no, they've been promoted. Why do I think they're really good? I thought they were much better than that. Anyway, they were promoted. Maybe it's the Gottney save I'm thinking about, but they were promoted, expected to do okay. We are 20 to 1, so we're a top half side, um, but I think we're going to do a bit better than that. Uh, and the the top sides here are Norcoping and Dirge Gardens. Um, we've still got to be confirmed as, the, uh, as qualifying for the European Cup, but I, I think because we finished fourth and we are playing nor coping in the cup then we will be playing in that competition but that's that's fine that's fine i don't quite understand why it hasn't been sorted out just yet okay guys well let me know in the comments what do you think about this team what do you think about the uh, the lack of uh, wing backs uh, that i've brought in and backup goalkeepers and other such things i i'm really very very excited about this and i hope I really, really hope we can... Yeah, we beat Helsingsburg. Sorry, segue. We beat Helsingsburg, didn't we, um, in the season that we just about stayed up 5-0 or something, um, which was one of the reasons we actually did stay up, and that was one of the live comms. But we've got a very different side from back then. can't remember what I was talking about initially, but, yeah, I'm hopeful this season that we can have a similar season and maybe push on a little bit further. I don't think we're that far away from being competitive for the league it's just the defense that is the problem um, and I don't know what to do about that really we've got two gr brilliant players in in Bamba and Mac, uh, McNamee both of them are at the club and they're signed by the club so no one can come in and get them unless they pay their release clauses which are a few million pounds in both cases so that is all good right and demand more Let's see. First game of the season. Can we take a win? Can we can we show off what we're all about? McNamee, he's already on the ball. Ball into Book. And that just hit Bamba, didn't it? What happened there? It's Book. He gets the goal. He gets the credit. And that's what we like to see. Robin Book with the goal. Nice start, guys. Nice start. He is not the forgotten man at all. McNamee. I mean, Collander got a lot of games last season. But Book is still here. Hits it first time. It looked like it was off Bamba's chest, but which is what finally put it in. But Book gets the goal anyway, and he he opens up our season, uh, our new season in the league with the first goal. It's not looking too um, crazy, is it? I mean, we're not having that many shots, and we we'll shout at people. We we'll praise them now. See what we can do. I'm not sure about Sumeri exactly where his best position is going to be. I'm also I didn't bring in the lone, uh, the weird sort of defensive sort of Dennis Wise figure. Didn't bring him in, which would have been nice to do. Over the top from them, Danielson, Danielson from uh, Karate Kid. Uh, <laughs> right, and show some passion, guys. We got we got a chance here. 39 minutes. Really not seeing too much in terms of chances, but that is fine. We've already got the goal. Do we need lots of chances? Probably not. It'd be just nice not to do anything silly here. Still improve, yeah, that's absolutely true. I think we can. I think we're 
we certainly have enough to um, to take this side I think and it would it would be a it would be disappointing not to get the victory here uh, looking at who they are actually Sumare and Hadou our African contingent all the way to Ali who's also I think he's isn't he Egyptian oh, oh is that Sumare that's Sumare he gets a goal on his debut brilliant play and 49 minutes great shot from distance we're 2-0 we're 2-0 my friends Alstrand's looking complacent. Um, show, some, show some passion, people. Come on. Right. First substitution. We've not seen much from the forwards. We've not seen much from various people. I am thinking of taking uh, Hadou off. We're going to bring on Norlan, who is a player, even though statistically he's not all that, I really like him as a player. And we'll um, bring Norlan on. But they've got a chance here. Mateus. That's offside. That's offside. Thank God for that. It's Daniel's son again. He's trouble. Wax on, wax off. My friend. Wax on, wax off. That's just offside. They're just a little bit early uh, going there. Uh, we'll do, what do we do here? Do we put Ingarsen on? We know we've got a goal from Ingarsen if he chooses to play well. But here they go again. Mateus. That's nicely done. Danielson holds the ball up well into Mateus. They're sort of playing it through the middle here. Schoberg. Just going to put a ball in. That's poor. That is poor defensive work from the guys there. Really poor. Again, we're sort of showing how poor we are at the back, really. It's... And I wonder, actually, you bring in someone like, um, you know, that Dennis Wise guy. You put him, slot him just in front of uh, front of the back two. Would that make us instantly much more solid? There's a kickoff highlight straight away. Sumare, was he going to find his man? That's a terrible ball. And and Schoberg looks like he's going. He's off for an early bath. Yeah, Philip. We. We'll, we'll yeah we'll enc we'll encourage him. Matt and me. Oh dear, is that a shot? Not seen an awful lot from Mr. Matt and me, I have to say. Uh, the back. Do we bring on Carvalho? Yeah, got a bit of nerves at the back, and you think bringing on someone with his know-how and his his age has got to be the way to go, hasn't it? So I'm not sure this is real highlight, but we'll we'll continue. McNamee's running. Oh, it's a lovely bit of play. Ali on the overlap. Ali's back to McNamee, is it? It's Norlin. Norlin into Alstrand at the, that side. Sumare. Norlin's. Is he going to have a pop? No. McNamee round the corner into Ali. Oh wow, that was really nicely played. Really nicely constructed that chance. And uh, again, Urubu look look dangerous. Book. Oh, Ingarsen just ran in there. Free header uh, and didn't make the most of it. Right, so what we will do, just with the team instructions, we'll uh, just time waste a bit, a bit more disciplined. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Tempo's already down. Wow. Well, I'm pretty, you know, again, we've conceded a goal. It's it's not, it doesn't look the most solid of performances, but we've won 2-1. Goal in his debut for Bakary Sumare. Um, McNamee with an assist, which is nice. Play gets the player of the match award. Robin Book with a goal. It's all good. All good. I'm happy with that. We're still not seeing the, the runs from McNamee as we were before, but I'm sure he will start doing those again um, anytime soon I can't think of anything so I think we'll start by saying an, a passionate uh, nice victory and we will uh, we will leave it at that so yeah good start I think good start we're 2-1 two, two winner over Helsingsburg 
Never going to be easy, that. And, uh, yeah, we have... Uh, let's have a little look at the schedule. So, the likes of Norco, Ping and Gert, Gertberg. So, I think what we might do, actually, is... AIK are always, always there or thereabouts. So, we might come back, play the next four games, come back for AIK and see where we are at that point. Uh, and then... Um, we might slot on a little bit and come back for the... We might do a double header with the BK Hacken, uh, who again are a good side and, and nor coping in the cup. I think that sounds, sounds a sensible move. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like button. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time for more fun in the sun with Orobro. Goodbye.